Anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing today, Jared? I'm doing all right. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. Uh, I had to double clutch that one. Not proud of that performance. I'm not going to grade out well, I don't think. It is what it is. All right, Jared. We are week one is in the books here. Ohio State took on Akron. And I think mixed feelings. I think mixed feelings here. Sure. I know it's kind of kind of silly looking looking at the final score. Fifty two to six. You look at fifty two to six. Sure. Yeah, that's that's a decisive decisive victory. Uh Ohio State should have to expect to be expected, that kind of score. But I think it's Kind of a tale of two halves here. We're going to go more in depth into this here, but can can uh, can I can I do something real quick first before we get to the report card? All right. Hold on, everyone with me. Is stand if it's socially appropriate where you are. Raise your right hand. I, Buckeye fan, will not overreact to week one. It is just week one. All right. Oh, I'm overreacting. F you. Well, listen, I can take you to water. I can't make you drink, as a teacher once told me several times. Um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Um, a little to a little shaky to start. Um, yeah. How's it, how's it goes? Um, I, I guess essentially three and out. Essentially three and out. They, they didn't get a first down on their oh, did they? on their first drive. Yeah. They did okay. not get a they did not get a first down on their first drive. There. Okay, so that's not essentially three and out, that's a three and out. Yeah. Okay. Just listen three, three, if I'm, three if I'm out, being picky. Three three and out with, with two penalties on that first drive. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think that could you, you do want to say that. Yeah. And yeah, Jeremiah Smith basically ruined that drive. And man. The, the luster could have come off that shiny freshman tag real quick if he didn't totally make up for it later. Yeah. Absolutely. As he looked, he looked, he looked like a freshman on that first drive. Absolutely. He settled he in though. Don't you worry about Jeremiah Smith though. He settled in. Yeah. But yeah. Look, look, looking at that, looking overall here. Yes. The. First, first half, especially, especially that first quarter. Yeah, def- definitely, definitely rough start. Uh, there, there was many people out there that started bashing on Will Howard. Um, I got, to, I got to watch, um, watch the game again on Sunday, and really paid attention closer on how Howard was throwing the ball, how how the offensive line. Uh, did in the game will howard like almost every I, hold on let me pull up my notes he had a he had, much he every, like the rest of the team had a rough start he missed his first four passes now there were drops in there every pat every pass in the first half oh i'm sorry every every pass in the first quarter was on target it was oh, none of them were overthrown. None of them were short. They were all on target. They were either knocked down by an Akron defender or dropped. I mean, you could you can't ask for anything better from a quarterback. I, I mean, you, you you get that you, when you, you put could the not ball throw right it. Where, you could not throw it where it could be knocked down. Well, so sometimes 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 the the defense just just has a better it's just better in that game in that play it just it just happens from time to time but it but it's akron but it's akron like also the emeka pass was bullshit uh yeah i agree that that should have been that should have been a touchdown um but whatever i don't like talking about i don't like talking about refs listen Will Howard was fine. He he had a bit of a slow start. The offense as a whole had a bit of a slow start. Um, I don't know, Kyle. Let's let's get to the report card. 
we can talk about all this stuff as it comes up. Um, overall game plan. I mean, it's it's Akron. We don't got to waste a lot of time talking about the game plan. Um, not the overall, excuse me, the offensive game plan. Um, I gave it a B plus. Um, I, I really think they could have just came in and ran the ball. Holy fuck, what a catch, USC. Yeah, the USC game is currently happening as as we're recording this. Uh, keep us up to date, chat. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's... What do you, what do you, like, it's, it's Akron. I felt like they rotated their players. I would have liked to have seen them maybe just run so, the ball a little bit more personally. Um, yeah. Like, ga- game plan, game plan offensively. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I, I would agree. I would give it like a B, B plus. So, uh, yeah, go and put me down for a B. I, I think, I think they chat what they were trying, what they were trying to strive to do for this game. I, I think, I think it was fine. No. No problems with the game plan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's Akron. Like no one got hurt. They spread the ball around. Did nothing it's basic fancy. And simple. Yeah. Basic it's, and simple. Yep. It's, 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 it's a good Akron game plan. Mm-hmm. All right. Game management. Will finished 17 of 28, which isn't good, but yeah, he started off rough. Yeah. He missed his I'll first four the passes. I'll get I'll get to, we'll, 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 I'll, we'll I'll get to the passing because I really I really want to talk about Will Howard here, but chat, do you it, have a game top... plan? Uh, oh, <laughs> the horrific backwards lateral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, game plan, we got a we got a B from chat. Yeah. We got a fine from okay. chat. Okay. All right. Game management offensively. It is an A. I, I'd it's say fine. like it, it's I, again, it's the Akron game. We don't got to worry too much mm-hmm. here. They they stuck to their game plan. They rotated players effectively. I I liked when they took the play the players out. I felt like it was good timing to bring the backups yeah, I would, in. I would say I would say B. I would say B for me as well. I well, I said A on this one. I I know okay. I know, but I'm I'm okay. going with oh B as I'm in going with you're B doing here. B again. I didn't yeah. like some of the early I mean, play calls. Austin, I agree with you. I put that in game plan as opposed to game management. Well, I would like to only one procedural what, penalty, right? Uh there there was uh there, one there was bad one illegal lineup. formation. Yeah. One illegal formation. Yeah. Which which coach day was red hot when when that was when when that happened. Oh, there was a snap infraction. Good call, Austin. Was there? Yeah, yeah. There was a snap infraction. I uh, the center uh, McLaughlin sort of double pumped the snap. I okay never did that personally. I would like to have gotten chat. What do you Trey? think about the oh, uh, I, 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 offensive I, I, like, management? I would like to have Trey to get the to get in rhythm a little bit more. I felt like when they give him the ball, he, he, he made, he made a lot of, made a lot of great things when he had the ball. He only got the touch the ball 10 times. I understand again, I understand it's Akron, but I like to have seen him get involved a little bit more though, but, but that's just me being picky though. All right. Just not, uh, just not playing. Um, passing. All right, so passing. all right, so passing here. I understand a lot of a lot of people were pointing out his stats here, sixty one percent, which is roughly about what he's averaging, what he's averaged uh, hit in his collegiate career, about sixty one, sixty two percent. That's that's his average right now. So it's yeah, but you're be on expected. a better team, and it was accurate. I, I I understand, but that that percentage should have been much higher. Yeah. Especially those uh, that first and that third drive, a lot of lot of drop balls, a lot of drop balls there. It could have been easily in the seventies percent if if the players actually caught the balls. His 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 throws were on target, had a nice zip to it. It was nice and tight. Like I liked what I saw from from Will Howard throwing the ball, and his decision making too when he. Needed to tuck it and run. 
he did it. He didn't do it that often. Um, it's that show that he did it four times. Yeah, he he did he did exactly what what Ryan Day wanted out of Will Howard. You don't need a you don't need to you don't need to go out and win the game. He's he's a distributor. And yeah, yeah. There, there's a couple of plays that I really like that we we would have seen previous quarterbacks just taking the hit and and got sacked and he he did not give up on the ball and he made positive yards or made a positive throw. Austin I really, says really like what I saw. Austin here. says no ints. No, but he did have oh, a oh, pretty oh. stupid fumble. The he, he did, the he backwards did have, lateral did, was that's probably the that only is not one. why you bring in a fifth year game management style quarterback to listen. If you're going to take mistakes like that, no offense to Devin Brown, but take, but but listen, everything we've heard about Devin Brown is essentially. Oh, you know, he's, he's spectacular at times, but he's not consistent. And sometimes he does some weird, unnecessary stuff. Well, the backwards lateral was some weird, unnecessary stuff. It was, yeah. Touchdown Trojans. That's that's probably the 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 one, com- the only complaint I really had with Will Howard was that he tried to do too much there. He'll, he'll learn. He'll, he'll learn from that and just, just take the sack there. I gave the passing a B minus. What does chat yeah. say? What does Kyle say? I, yeah, I'd say passing as the as the quarterback itself. I'd say B. I'd say B did exactly what did exactly what he needed to do. Here, here's a, here's a here's a um an interesting stat here. Other than that, uh, one receivers play, come later. Austin purely quarterback. Yeah. Other other than that one play that we just talked about, where Howard. Uh, threw the ball backwards. Yeah. That was the only negative play. All, all of the other rushing attempts, zero, zero negative plays. That's a good stat. Running the ball and zero and zero sacks um, given up as well too. So I, from that standpoint, I yeah, really yeah. like, I really liked the offense, but I'll get into, I'll get into the offensive line when we, when we uh, come to it here, but the ne- yeah. next one here, Jared, you have is the, the running attack here. Yeah. You said something about getting Trey in rhythm. I thought Trey looked great. He did. Um, he did. He. But at the same time, do you really want him having more than eight carries against Akron? He's had some durability he, issues. He, he did. He, he does have some durability. Judkins issues, but looked I, fine. I'd want him to fine. look better against Akron. Uh, he didn't always have the blocking in front of him. Uh, you know, I I obviously don't have access to, like, all 22 footage. But it seemed like... Both it, running backs, run, um, 5.7 yards per carry between the two. Yeah, but Henderson had 8.1 and... Judkins had 4.2. Mm-hmm. And by the way, Peoples, I, I think, is as advertised. Um, he only gets six carries on the day, but he gets a touchdown and he has a five yard average. Uh, I, you know, I, I think he has a promising future at Ohio State. He gets included in this grade as well. I give it an A minus. Um, I thought the, lo- the running backs looked good. I would have liked, and we're not talking about the offensive line yet. I would have liked to have seen more push out of the offensive line. That would have helped out the running backs a great deal. And I also think when you're not playing Akron, you might see more read option that will involve the quarterback. But there's no there's no need to put those hits on on Will Howard at this point in time. Only 172 running- rushing yards, not good enough. I agree. I'm just not putting that on the running backs. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd give it an A minus as well. I would, that's that's what I was thinking of as well. I know I know it's not technically part of the running game. It's more of a pass blocking, but but that block that block from Trey on pass protection. Well, we will technically everyone know, everyone knows what I'm talking. Oh, about. Oh, we all know. Uh, Nestler almost got X rated. He liked that play so much. Um, <laughs> chat what do you B. say I see B looks like I see B minus B. 
Oof. B. Yep, B. B is fine. We got a second we'll go B, so B. All right. Yeah, okay, we'll go with B. All right, receiving. 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 Give me give me a C. Give me a C for the receiving here. Too, I'm many, doing, too many drop balls. Too, ma- too many drop balls. I think that's fair. A, I'm doing a C. I did a B personally, but I, th- I, I think what you were saying is fair. Because they looked, when they looked, I, I think that they just needed to settle into the game. That, but at the same time, you're supposed to be like the one of the best. You are the best group on the offensive side of the ball. And therefore, like the expectations are going to be higher. So, uh, you know, I'm talking myself into this. I'm going to meet Kyle a little bit closer and throw a minus in there. Um, I'm going I'm to change mine to a B minus. Uh, Austin says C. Um, you're supposed to be the best receiving core in the country. Yeah, I agree. We grade based off of expectations. All right. It looks like C. Looks like C is the the grading for a chat here. Okay. All right. I mean, it does need shared. to be said before. I mean, because we are being negative. Jeremiah Smith had a rough start to the game. He, like, if we're being brutally honest, he single handedly ruined the first drive. Like, if we're being brutally honest, he single handedly ruined the first drive. Um, that being said, he comes back, he gets two touchdowns, he leads the team in receptions, He's he gets 92 yards, including a 45-yard catch. Um, he had a really nice game after things started off really poorly, and give, give credit to a freshman who could, in that situation, get maybe a little emotionally overwhelmed. You have your first opportunity to play college ball. You screw up a few times. I I think that you couldn't blame an 18 year old for getting in his head and maybe spiraling a bit, but he didn't, you know, he showed some mental resiliency. He stuck with it. He had the best, the best game of any offensive player for Ohio state. You could argue, um, Although you could also say that Trey made the most with his opportunities. Uh, but yeah, the, yeah, I, you know, give credit where credit's due on Jeremiah Smith for sure. And Emeka should have had a touchdown. Like that was a, that was a crap overturn or non overturn. Yeah, I agree. Um, you just found something hilarious. Well, let us know what that hilarious thing is after this ad break. Uh, we're going to take a quick ad break. If you want to avoid these ad breaks, uh, go to patreon.thesleepcast.com. We actually have a bunch of links, and I don't want to waste too much time going over all of those links right now, but you can see all of our links, including two separate t-shirt stores, a Ohio-based music playlist, of course, the Patreon link, uh, the Discord link, which is discord.thesleepcast.com. You can find all of these different links at thesleepcast.com, which is a base. It's just a campsite page that will take you to all the other things. So, With that being said, here is that ad break now. And we're back. Austin, what did you find funny? Uh, If you look up JJ on Google, this is what you get. Jeremiah's like just straight up JJ. Listen, are you in on in? Are you in? Oh, crap. That is. That's that is not. Jeremiah Smith in that picture. That is funny. God, ESPN sucks. They they are just too big. They're they're too big and too corporate, and there's not right. enough people there who still get, care. Get sidetracked here. Here, let's yep. let's go into the offensive line here. Let's this year this year we're breaking it down into both. Passing and blocking here, or yeah, block it. We we know we know what you running. Mean. Passing and running here. So, all right, first. Well, first and I just want to say this isn't even strictly the offensive line. We also talk about the tight ends. You know, we talk about Trey getting a huge block that technically falls under pass blocking. 
Th- this mm-hmm. isn't just the offensive line for the record. Yeah, so I would I would say I would say for me run blocking is like a C plus. Okay. And the and the pass blocking is like a B plus. Uh you're Kyle, I'm normally the one that's the asshole to the offensive line then, but I, I was notably nicer than you. Um I went B minus on run blocking and a minus on pass blocking um now austin like if this was the first half yeah i'd I'd say a d i'd say a d for that first half the they were the the block the run blocking in the first half was not what it need needed to be there but the second half they they got they got things going maybe maybe a lot of it was that akron just got was getting tired right and all that too maybe maybe a lot of that but so yeah, when Akron like was seat. gassed, we were better. Yeah, welcome to college football. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, look, look at um, look at what happened to the Michigan game, and there's there's a lot of lot of other games too where they the controlled better team, the, the better team ends up just dominating in the in the fourth quarter. Well, they fucking suck. That that's fair. Um, so what do you got, Jared? Oh, I did B minus for run blocking and A minus for pass blocking. I thought they were fine pass blocking wise. Um, I'm just going to, you know, I try not to get players by name. Um, but man, I, there, there were a lot of, there were a lot of people trying to tell us that Josh Fryer had a, had, had come a long way since last year. And, Based purely on the Akron game, I don't see it. Um, I still see him as a liability, quite frankly. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I'm not gonna go. In, I don't want to. I don't want to totally rip into him, but it's, it's not great. Um, I wasn't. I was not impressed. I was not happy. I, the offensive line is still going to be a, and, and it needs to be said. Oh, I said it was down, uh, you know, was down arguably, inarguably their best offensive lineman for this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Donovan Jackson that, that does need to be was said. a last second that does scratch. Need to be said, yep. uh, but that being said, I don't feel like uh, Saraveld was at any point noticeably a problem. I thought he played well. Um, I wasn't watching him the entire game, but I thought for the most part he played fine. Uh, I, I think that the tackles, for the most part, especially... I really thought, hey, I think they're going to be really good run blockers, but I'm still concerned about the pass blocking. And based purely on Akron, I saw the opposite. Um, I I saw nothing in this game to make me feel better about my concerns about the offensive line. Quite frankly. Um, again, they didn't have a bad game, but it's Akron. And to Austin's point, wanting me to rank them even lower. Well, quite frankly, the expectations are still low and we grade based off of expectations. If I'm being honest. All right. Um, Guys, what do we put the grades at for pass blocking and run blocking, according to chat? What's the chat scores? Okay, it looks like B minus and D. We're going to go B minus and D, apparently. Well, I'm doing it the wrong way. Yeah, I'm doing it the wrong way. All right, Kyle, next up we have third downs. I thought Ohio State played well two, on third downs. They they did. They they finished they finished the uh the game 9 for 14. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh We had Kyle five we had for not, 5 we, for 9 it, 5 for 9 in the first half and 4 for 5 in the second half there. But we had a quarterback me, me, the big, the, the big the the big issues the big issue I have is that Third and two, third and yes, three. Yes, 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 yes. You got to dig deep. You got to dig deep. And you they gotta, got those. You, you, not, 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 
not the not some of them that they they should have gotten there, but I, I did like. Well, we the did tush have a quarterback push. sneak. Yes. We had a quarterback sneak. I did like the tush push. We got a yes. quarterback so sneak. I'd say, I, I guess I would kind of average 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 it out for the third downs. I'd say. I'm doing an A minus. I guess like a B B minus. I, I I'll go with a B. I guess so. Chat. What do you got, Jared? While we're waiting for chat, I said A minus. Okay, they're saying uh, B. B. When, when did I turn I, into I got... the nice one? I don't feel like that's. <laughs> All right, let's. All right, let's let's move on to the defense here. Game plan. I. I'd say I'd say an A. It's it's tough doing a it's tough defending a triple option, uh, team. Uh, I, I especially when you have call them especially when you have two qu- two quarterbacks. I wouldn't call them a triple option. I mean, they're read. I mean, I guess well, they did say I'm, I'm some. Sorry, I'm sorry, not a triple, not a triple op, not tri- triple option. Um, RPO. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and yeah. the two quarterback RPO, package RPO was offense. interesting. So, um, yeah, I I I'd say a for the defense. I I'd, I'd say they needed to do what they what they needed to do. I mean. I mean, what, what do you want, Austin? They they did really well. They he's mad at you for he's zone. mad at you for accidentally saying triple option. Okay, all right. If, if that's the case, then then okay, that's that's well well deserved. <laughs> um, hundred seventy hundred seventy seven yards total of um of let up, pretty good, pretty good. Um, only forty seven yards on the ground. Yeah, I I, I take that in a in a heartbeat. There, one point three yards per carry. Hell yeah. Yeah, the defense played really, really well. Yeah, would have liked to get gotten off the field on third that's downs a, more. That's, that's a separate that's, category. That's coming up. That's coming up here. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, a minus a minus is what it looks like. And here. I'll say this: I really liked. I liked that anytime they ran said read option, it was essentially in the game plan for and it, it it ended up being Jack Sawyer more often than not to just light up the quarterbacks like oh you want to run an RPO fine <laughs> we're going to make you pay for it and uh Joe Moorhead did not adjust and Ben Finley had a really bad day because of it um i honestly Moorhead should be fired that that was brutal that honestly, like he was went into the locker room. Morehead should be fired, regardless. But he went into the locker room in pain, and then he just got straight up thrown to the wolves and the, on their first drive in the third quarter. So, Sawyer J and yeah, Sawyer and JT just annihilated him all game long. Yeah, I. I I felt bad like going into the in the second quarter. I just felt really bad for Finley just taking a beating there. It's it, it was tough watching him especially when he at times. And I know he I know they put him into concussion protocol and I know he got out of concussion protocol. So I'm not trying to but man, you had a guy who had at least a near concussion and you just kept throwing him straight into Jack Sawyer's lane. It, it was not not smart game management whatsoever. Um, he was cartoonishly injured. Esquire, that is well said. Finley was cartoonishly hurt. Uh, chat, what do you have for the game plan? And Kyle, uh, what do you have for uh, game management? Um, I went with an A, personally. Yeah. A, A, A for me. Again, I like the rotation. Um, I like the play calling. Um, game plan didn't stand out. C plus. We got a B. We got an A. I'll just average that out and say, say an A B. or a B rather. Uh, 
the hell is okay. we got a for for game management for from the chat as well too so all right all right run, run stop. stop a plus like you you can't do <laughs> that's about as good as you're going to get with somebody who's running the ball how many times 35 times for 47 yards 1.3 yards per carry a plus I'm going to go with a straight A personally. I, I just would have liked to have seen the defensive tackles get more of a push up front personally. Yeah, you, you are correct, Odin. Yeah, they had negative four in the first half. Um, um, uh, agreed. Pat- Austin says agreed. Uh, what do you what does the uh, what do you guys grade it out as? Uh, Odin, Odin says gave an A. a. But yeah, I, I just I would like to see the defensive line. I sometimes to see the defensive line like they'd rather beat their guy than push their guy, which sometimes leads to them overrunning the play. They, they I, had I would I would minus, like minus w- sacks, minus sacks. They had five tackle for losses in this game. I understand. I'm just, just pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just saying it's Akron. They're not very good. I, I just would like to see them bully the other team as opposed to like swim or rip well, past them on run plays. I, I just want to see the offensive I, line displaced. I understand, Jared, but it's the type of offense that they were going up against. They couldn't do that on a consistent basis just because they had to they had to respect the ability for that no, yeah, I, I disagree. Ball. That's why you need to do that well, well, because and that's how, with all how, of the miss, that's how Akron was able to convert as many third downs as they with all as of they the did misdirections happening. You the defensive line should just be shoving the offensive line backwards, letting the linebackers and safeties take care of all the fancy stuff moving around. Like just beat your guy up front because I don't know how many times we saw. I mean, I'm going to say Ty Leak. He wasn't the only one. I don't mean to, I don't mean to single him out. But you'd sometimes see the defensive lineman beat the offensive lineman and then run past the play. I'd rather in in against this type of offense. I'd rather them just get underneath the offensive lineman and displace them as opposed to get past them. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as as harsh. I I, I thought I thought the defense. Played really, really well here. I agree. I mean, I gave them an A. I'm just saying what I would like to see them do to get an A plus. That's that's all I'm saying. All right. I'm all nitpicking. Right. I'm literally all right. nitpicking. All right. Pass pass rush here. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. They got. I did an A plus um, on this one. Yeah. I I would say I would say like an A plus on the on the pass rush. Yeah. A plus. Uh, five sacks. Five sacks for this game here. Uh, one one of those rushes was a tip ball that ended up being a a pick six for uh, for Gabe Powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, oh, and uh, CJ uh, Hicks JT, was Sawyer, looked Curry, excellent on the pass rush as well. Dude, don't don't forget don't forget about Kenyatta Jackson. Kenyatta yeah. played an excellent game. Excellent game, especially that second half. Kenyatta played really, really well. I forget who I, I drawing a blank who who ended up doing the the tip pass, but I thought it was Kenyatta. Was it Kenyatta? I thought Maybe so. it was, but no, it was Hero, wasn't it? I think it was Hero. Yes, it was Hero. Yep, you're all right. Yes, it was. Yeah, the the it was Hero. D- yeah, yeah, the but as. As the as uh, Esquire says, D line depth stock up. Yeah, yeah. Hero or Curry? I think it was. I think it was Hero. That uh, started that enabled Gabe Powers to run it in. Oops. All right. Uh. Pa- uh. What do we got? Pass coverage. Hero forced the fumble. Okay, so Hero forced the fumble. Curry tip the pass? I forget. I forget. It's all good. Uh regardless, the pass rush was excellent. Um Yep, Curry did. I, I Curry did, did see do the I did fumble. see the chat. I do see that. In talking about the uh 
run stop, saying CJ Hicks had some bad angles. Uh, he's a first time start. Um, you know, I'm going to give him a little bit of grace, but yeah, you're C- not wrong. CJ. Yeah. CJ was fine. Houston he tipped better? the pass. Sure. No, but Austin's like- right. Houston tipped the pass. It, it was okay. Houston. Yeah. Yeah. It was Houston. Hicks seemed better on the pass. I, I don't disagree. I think he's a, I think he's a pass rusher for sure. I, I think that's one of the reasons why I would say he's a will. He was, he was also playing out of position. Cody Simon was supposed to start. Um, CJ Hicks, who is supposed to be a will linebacker was playing middle linebacker on Saturday. Um, so for what it's worth, he was also playing out of position. Very first start right, but, playing out of position. Right, let's let's move on to the pass coverage, Jared. Pass coverage. I'm kind of I'm kind of mixed on this. I think from a from anything that's beyond the line of scrimmage, <laughs> the defense did really well on, on pass coverage. Uh, but everything that's like from the line of scrimmage and backwards, it's there, there's there could be some room for for improvement there, um, but so I, yeah I, I'd say like an A A minus. I I was really really pleased with what I saw from the, from the defensive backs here. I did an A. Um, is there really, is there any way to really take away the flat route on the backfield? Um, that. Man. Austin Austin says cover Man. two, um, which, but yeah, they're this this is a town ta- this is a this is a man on man team for the most part. Um, they got yep. the guys to do it. I think they're going to do it. Um, I think they're just going to let Akron get the swing passes. Quite frankly, mm. yep. What I, do you guys, what do you guys got here for pass coverage? Yeah, I mean, I. I, I thought, I mean, they got two interceptions, um, fair amount of breakups. Long, the best wide receiver longest, on the team was... Their longest reception, Jared, was 29 yards, and that was, I believe, in the fourth quarter when they had, like, backups in there, too. It was to their tight end. I remember that. Yep, it was to their tight end. Yep. All right, got a, got a minus. And it was it was on a it wasn't it was a short yardage play where um, I believe it who was it that came up too aggressively on the run play and got caught out of out of sync. Was it Denzel? Mm-hmm. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought Denzel. it. I thought it was either a safety or a linebacker, but I could be mistaken. I'm like I know sure Denzel, Denzel was over there, but I don't really think it would have been his guy. Was it Denzel? Okay. Yeah. D- Denzel missed. It was like the next pass play after he did the interception. Yeah. He tried doing a, a, uh, another pick like in back to back pass. That, that's a different play. That's a different play. I'm talking about the one to the tight end where it was either a safety or a linebacker should have had the tight end, oh. but they bit too hard on the run fake because they were kind of faking a. Yeah, that, that was that was on Denzel. Yeah, I, I don't think it was on Denzel. 10. Denzel was over there. I don't think the tight end was his guy. Uh, Austin says it was Hicks. Um, maybe. And I know exactly what it was. Like Denzel, Denzel had the outside. Denzel had the outside, and he 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 came in too close inside, and tight end the tight end went out, and yeah, was able to get like. Was it like seven, nine yards, something like that, too? Yeah, I just don't know if it was. I don't know, without my assumption is that the tight end wasn't his responsibility, but I don't know what the play call was. I haven't seen the all twenty two, so I, I don't know. I could be mistaken. Tackling, just mm-hmm. tackling as a whole. How do we feel about the Good. tackling? I don't. I, I don't recall. I don't recall like seeing like a. Really a bad tackle? I, I thought it was good. A. Yeah, I agree. Um there were some tackles that weren't completed, but they weren't like total whiffs, you know. Yeah, and there was some there was somebody right there to to clean it up too, so yeah. Yeah. 
Austin says A minus. All right, third third down. Third downs, I, I think I think third down is the one that I I'll have to grade a little bit lower than than the rest of them. I've been giving all A's <laughs> so far for, for the whole defense. Third third down is where I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to like a to like a B B minus, something like that. So four for sixteen. Uh, four for sixteen, but most of those if I'm let me let me go back to the the stats here. I'm pretty sure most of those were um I don't know that Yeah, but the four shouldn't have been allowed. Yeah, and, and like if you want to count fourth down plays, which Yeah, there were two for three. Two, two for, for three, three on, on, on on fourths, but this isn't for this isn't fourth down, this is third downs. Um I almost see, I almost feel like you could you could combine the two, honestly, Jared. Well, if we're gonna downs. do that, I'm definitely lowering the grade. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, what, I, what did you say your score was again, Kyle? Oh, I'll, I'll say a B. Okay, I'll say a B. We got C plus C C. So chat chat really chat's not chat happy. really coming down on on it and saying C. Chat's not happy. Nope. All right, Kyle. All right, we got to do uh, special, special teams. teams and the overall team <laughs> grades when we come back. But first, we got to go and do a quick ad break. If you want to avoid these ad, bre- ad breaks, patreon.thesloopcast.com. And we're back. Special teams. Kyle, listen, if you if 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 anyone listening to this is a longtime listener to the Sloopcast, you know Kyle has been fiending for the better part of a decade about getting a punt return. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to go straight to the returning. I'm going to, I'm going to skip a step. Brennan Ennis is going to return one this year. Return, returning, I'm going to say B plus. Yeah. You're never going to hit a until they actually get one in the end zone. Are you? And so 15, 15 yards per punt return is pretty good. Damn pretty right good. it I, is. I, I will say that. So so that's why it goes from a B to a B plus for me. <laughs> I Okay, B plus. I don't know. Like, Brennan, listen, I'm going to give him an A because, and by the way, I, I thought Ballard looked good at times on the kickoff return as well. Um I, I think I think we house one this year. I think we're gonna house one. This Don't year. get my hopes up, Jared. Don't get my hopes up. Chat, what do you say? Uh, place kicking. I, I mean, made everyone that was in front of them. Yep. A. Yep. A. Same thing with with kick coverage. I mean, I I don't think they had a single return yard. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I didn't see a single return yard. So A for kick coverage too. I think we returned it against Marshall. See, that's. I think that's totally valid. Yeah. Yeah, So kick coverage was good. Yep. A is all around. Yeah. A is all around. Well, except for the one B plus you gave. Of course, as is tradition. All right, team. All right, effort. Just overall effort. effort. Just, the, I thought the team came out excited, maybe too excited. Too excited, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> perhaps too excited, I would say, would be my critique there. But I thought they looked. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I yeah. guess A. Yeah, A is fine with me. Chat would say you on the effort. A minus. A minus. All right. A. 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 Okay, all right. We'll A's a. all around. All right. Discipline. I'm, we I'm had the, this one. We had like we had a pretty a stupid Iggy hit. I'll there, say there that was a stu- there was a there was a there was a dumb hit. There was um, seven penalties. I Seven would put penalties. I would put drop passes under execution personally, Austin. Yeah. So se- seven penalties. 
uh, two false starts, illegal formation, uh, had a personal foul on the defense, holding on special teams there. Yeah, discipline there. So I'd say like a, I'd say a B minus. Chat would say you on the discipline metric. Do you think Ryan Day is going to be mad at me for not putting toughness on the chart? <laughs> I got that's a B what plus. Effort should I got be. a C. Effort, effort should be toughness. I mean, it, it kind of is. It is, yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to put a B. All right, we got a B plus and a C. Um, execution. I, I, I which half? <laughs> yeah, which half? Uh, I think they were executing excellently in the second half. The execution was pretty poor in the first. I, I, and I, you got to rate it on both sides. Like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. We have to come up with an overall. I'm doing a B minus. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of. B B minus, so you, you can just put B for a B. Okay. Defense defense like last year. Uh really, really help help to raise that score up. Yeah. And it, it, the second half, I think, was mm -hmm. huge in that. Overall, I'm gonna do a B. Mm -hmm. Um Yep, B. That's a B. It is yep. a satisfaction. I don't you, 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 I don't Outside of the and, and offensive this, line, I don't leave this game feeling concerned about anything. Um, yeah, Off but I also line is still still a big concern. Yeah, outside I'm, of I'm the offensive line, really, yeah, I'm still really concerned about the offensive line and how well they're being consistent here. Like there's there's times when they looked really good, and other times that there was just like was like what what the hell are you doing? But, yeah, I I really hope that we see uh, some drastic improvements on that offensive line here. Yeah, what does Chip but, Kelly but one, th one thing, well, but, Chip, but, 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 Chip Kelly but one, is reflected one thing in the game see, planning, game management on offense. Yeah. So, but one thing, one thing that I B plus. One, one thing that we one thing that we have seen improvement on on the defensive side, um, both with sacks and, and turnovers. Those two things were. Um, a rarity as a whole for, sure. for the season last year, five sacks already. Yeah. Three turnovers already. Yep. Last year, the defense defense only had 11, 11 turnovers last year. Yep. That is crazy to think about. And they had three already just in, just in week one, but it's Akron, but it is Akron. Yeah. And two touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Oh, and b before we get too far away from this game, um, I just want to point out my score prediction was 52 to seven. Final score is 52 to six. So you were wrong, Jared, just like everybody else. Uh, I'm counting, I'm counting it as, as a Austin win. says, counting it as a win. <laughs> Listen, you, you you can't you you can't take my shine away, man. You can't take my shine we're, away. LSU right, ties. We're going to go ahead and go. We're going to go right into uh, some questions here, real quick. Uh, Z Spikes says, "Is it okay to be disappointed in a fifty-two to six win when the other team is Akron?" Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say disappointed. I would say I'm not fully satisfied. Yeah, I think to say you were disappointed in this game is a, a tad far. But you can be unsatisfied with this game, I think, is a, a fair way to mm -hmm. describe is, it. Is Judkins slightly regretting the transfer decision after running into a wall most of the game? Nah. And how fast and how fast did Trey look? Trey looked great. Nah, he's yeah, it, Judkins will be fine. Judkins is fine. I will not overreact to week one. That's how, that's what I say about that. Uh, Dinger asks how, how many quarterbacks are going to need PT after going against Jack Sawyer? That's on Moorhead, man. You, if the other team says, yeah, no, 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 no. 
you run your run your read option. I'm just going to light up your quarterback every time. JT and Sawyer are NFL defensive ends. There's a reason why NFL teams don't run that shit. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, yeah, Ohio State said, yeah, run that shit. Go ahead. The defensive end is just going to kill your quarterback. We got guys on the back end that will take care of everyone else. We're just going to tee off on your quarterback the entire game. And if it's week one and that's your quarterback, you got to adjust. You can't put yeah. Finley out there like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, um, who had the most underrated performance? Well, if I said it, they wouldn't be underrated. Saraveld. Name name that we haven't even mentioned at all. Who had a just an outstanding game? Carnell Tate. Ty Leak. Oh, Ty, Ty Leak. Ty Leak. Ty Leak Williams. Got himself an excellent game. And last one from Odin. How soon will Smith break Ted Ginn's record for most receiving touchdowns as a freshman, I'm going to assume, um, as at eight. Whew. That, that seems ready to fall. That's... Well, he said, how soon? How soon? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that's ready to fall. I mean, he's not going to get two per for the month of September, I don't think. Um, but, you know, I'll say the first half of the season. I will say the first half of the he's, season. He's, he's going to he's he's going to get it against. It's either Penn State or Purdue. Goddamn, yeah. Austin, you and I think alike a lot. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what is the halfway point of the regular season? Did I say the same thing too? Like, what's game seven? Well, what's well, game six? Game seven's Nebraska. Okay. Six six is Oregon. All right, I'll take Nebraska then. I'll say he breaks the record against Nebraska. All right. Um, all right, we are coming up on time here. You got anything else, Jared? Uh, no, no. I think it's I think it's time to end it. The question is, Kyle, do you have anything else? As it is, Kyle's quarter. I. There was one thing, real quick. Uh, we did get a a boom. We yes, did we get, did. Uh, wide receiver Philip Bell out of California has has made his uh, verbal commit for the 2025 class. Yeah. So we have we have that we have some smoke that um offered might be flipping to Auburn. We'll keep an eye on that. Um holding on to offered always felt like it was going to be a challenge. Um, you might, if offered leaves, you might use that as a bit of ammunition to go out and get one of the two cornerbacks with Ohio ties who committed to Oregon for some reason. So, you know, you free up a little bit of money, you free up a spot in mm-hmm. the cornerback room. Maybe you, you know, Give Brew a call, see what's see what's up, you know. I, I do I do want to give a shout out to Tony Gerdeman here. Of course, he, he had a, he made a great he made it he made a great comment here that I'm all for and we need to spread the word on this, Jared. Okay. Archie Griffin, yeah, dotted the dotted the I, yeah. He needs to do it again next year to be the only one to dot it I twice. I'm mean, listen. It's the 50th anniversary this year. It's the 50, 50th anniversary next year, technically. It's it, next year is also the 50th anniversary of his Eisman. Listen, uh, yeah, no, Tony, uh, as always, 100 percent correct. And 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 he and he says it should be in week one when they when they go up against Texas, which I'm all for too. Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah, all right, that's it. That is all. That's all I got here, Jared. All right. That's it. That's the end of tonight's episode. Uh, 
tonight's ending music brought to you by the wet darlings the wet darlings from oh, they're from ohio i forget where they're specifically from but they're from ohio so with all that being said i'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer listen to local music and of course support your local podcasters once again these are the wet darlings Thank you.